very stale hair. Today I'm going to show you what I suppose might call my magical fabric, uh, the scrunch making textured fabric. It's very, very easy and we sell a little kit that shows you how to do it. And all you need is a layer of um, solid sheet or Violin 541, that's what it looks like. Two layers on the top of Gossamer Fuse and just pop them there. And on the top, a piece of fabric. And then you take them to your sewing machine and stitch them. You can stitch circles, you can see the circles I've used here. And for this, because people are always telling me they can't work with um, metallic threads, this is Super Twist. There is no better thread, metallic thread on the market than Super Twist. It's a, an industrial thread, 30 weight, and it just stitches like a dream. And on the bottom, so that you can see, I've used a rayon, but that's entirely up to you. Um, and then I've stitched circles, but you could do squares or shapes or whatever. It's just that I'm, like many people, a bit of a circle girl. And I also free stitch. So to do that, because I don't like hoops, I just hold it firmly. So that's this one that I've done. I'm going to show you what I do with them. And this is scrim. Uh, so there's my little mixture where I've stitched it again. Much more difficult to stitch, but as long as you hold it fairly firmly, it's right. But I just don't want to put it in a hoop. And then I get my trusty iron, once I've finished, turn it over, apply a bit of steam, and let's see what happens. And the fabric. And just shrivel. Obviously when it's a demonstration, it shrivels a bit more slowly than when it's me working it. If you want an iron with steam in it to do this, while that one's making its mind up, I'll turn this one over. It's a much softer fabric. And you can see it start to shrivel all the way up. And you know what it looks like when you start it, and once it's done it starts to shrivel. Keep going, if it doesn't work, hold some light at the beginning. It just shows that we're all human and things take a little while. So you can see it shriveling up here, changing its texture. The That sort of fabric is harder to... Sometimes when I do it, it just goes immediately. And you can see it's shrinking up into a shape. So I'll show you what's happened with another one that I've done. You see how it just shrivels right up. The velvet is quite effective. So there's just a plain piece of velvet. I don't know what the shrinkage is. That's something that you have to work out yourself. And here's another one that I've done exactly the same. And it's shriveled up quite a lot, quite a lot more. Now you can use these pieces however you like. For instance, I've cut the top of my little house out with one of these pieces here. So you could isolate out some, put it into things, um, you know, tidy up to you of course, and then different fabrics that you can use. This is silk scrim, um, which has come up really well, textured. I'll come back on that. Sometimes they work better than others, uh, and but that's really lovely for like rocks and so on. Um, it's exactly the same principle. This is with Avalon, which I, so that's well, it's shriveled its way, it's been painted, and it's, you can see the shriveling up, really good for things like rocks. This is a piece of poly cotton, black poly cotton, which has had foils on it, so you get that nice little effect. And it's really things that you might cut out or use within your work. And again, this one here, which has had something cut out of it, but this is sari ribbon that I've just woven onto this little sandwich that I showed you, and then stitched and Again, there's the back where it's come through, uh, and it's shriveled up. So that's what I like to have fun with. You've got little pieces that you can use whenever you want to use them. So therefore, I found, hope that you found that a little bit interesting today. It needs um, a sheet. I must have 
done something to it and got some refuse and as I said resell it as a little kit. So there you have a good day, see you again.